Hey guys, welcome to this episode of the DJ Podcast. In today's episode, I'm going to be going over how to record your DJ mix on a Mac using GarageBand 08. Alright, so when you first launch GarageBand, this is going to be the first screen that you see. It gives you a few options here, and what we're going to want to do is create a new music project. And we will just leave, we will, you know what, we'll call this Record. And we're going to save it to the desktop, and we can just leave these settings alone. And we'll click Create. And that starts our new GarageBand project. So we'll let it load, and I'll sort of just drag. Drag this over. All right, so. Here we are, and this is sort of just your basic GarageBand layout. And the, you can see that there is already one track here, but we want to create a new track. So we're going to go to Track, New Track, and we're going to say that it is a real instrument track. So that way we can record our audio into it. So we'll click Create, and you can see that now we have this new track here, and there are no effects on it. You want to make sure there are no effects, and you'll see that this red indicator here shows that we're going to record to this track. So you can see that the track info pane has opened up here on the right side of the program. And what you're going to want to be, care uh, be careful to check is the input source. And you can see now it says stereo 1 and 2 built-in input. So we're just going to leave it on that. Now maybe for you, it wouldn't say built-in input, or you're using an external sound card. What you're going to need to do is go into the Preferences, and you're going to want to go under the Audio and MIDI tab. Here you'll see audio, your audio output and your audio input. As you can see, it had you know, the default system setting or the microphone or the input. You're going to want to make sure that it's set to the input that you need. For us, it's going to be the built-in input. So we'll close that. And here you can see that there is a recording level. So you can set a level to record the incoming audio in. Now, I have it sort of near the middle here, and that's just because that's the setting that I find works for me. You're going to need to play around with the output settings on your mixer and also the input settings on your Mac and figure out what is best for you. I would leave off automatic level control and also leave the monitor off, although you can listen to that if you want. So now that we've got that all set up, we are ready to record. And one, two things that I like to do, the first is to go to control and turn off the metronome because that can be really annoying. And also I like to do count in. So when you're ready to record, you're just gonna hit this big red button. And you'll see that it gives you a few counts and then it starts recording your mix. Now, right now it's just recording the, uh, the same audio as I have for the video capture. So we'll just stop it here. And we have our, what would be our mix here. So now we are ready to export the mix. So we're going to go to share and export song to disk. Now, if you leave the box that says compress here unchecked, it will export it as a AIFF, um, basically lossless audio file. But you're not going to want to share that on the net because it's going to be very large. So let's go over how to quickly compress your mix. You want to click Compress, and you're, you can choose either to AAC or MP3. I'm going to go with MP3. And you can see that it has a few presets, but we're just going to go to Custom. And we're going to make sure that variable bitrate encoding is turned off. We're going to go and set this to 192. Make sure stereo and click OK. So then we'll click export and choose where we want. So we're going to go to the desktop, click save. And as you can see, it creates a mix down, it normalizes, and then it converts your audio file. And there on the desktop, we have a nice and small MP3 file of the mix. Then you can put that into iTunes, change the metadata, or use another program to change the ID3 tags. And you can upload it 
to a site like SoundCloud or maybe put it on your own personal website.